Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Audrey Deshay as always, and this is Designed by Deshay. I am in such a great mood because I'm really excited to share this project with you guys. This is my fake bake Valentine's Day cake, and I am so happy because this is the first ever no bake or fake bake that I've ever done, and it came out great. So let's get right into it. So I'm starting off by painting that um, heart-shaped plaque pink. I'm using acrylic paint that came out of a set that I got from Ross a million years ago, but you can use any paint, you know, in any color really. I chose pink for Valentine's Day, and um, I'm going to definitely layer on another layer of this because, you know, the pink is really not showing through. It doesn't have to be super strong because I am going to cover this in table scatter as well, but just in case there's any holes, I want the pink showing. And I am moving quickly here because I didn't want to glue the table scatter down individually. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, put it right over this ink so that as it dries, it'll dry stuck down. I'm taking special care to place this around the edges because, you know, most of this is going to be covered. So whenever it peeks out around the edges, I want it to be sparkly and, you know, heart-shaped and really pretty. So now that my uh, cake plate is decorated, I have centered this heart-shaped box on it and I'm just going along the edges to make sure that it's, you know, down and secured in place exactly where I want it. Once I was sure that the box was glued down to the cake plate, I went ahead and put a bead of hot glue all along the inside of the lid and I'm going to glue that down so that the lid won't move. And yes, everything is secured in place, nothing is going anywhere, so I can move on to making my icing. And to do that, I'm using lightweight spackle. I got this from Home Depot, it was really affordable. Um, and I am just taking this putty knife, I got a couple of them in different sizes, and I'm scooping the spackle out into this little container. Uh, the spackle is very smooth, I think it has a consistency that's easier to, to work with than icing and a little bit does actually go a long way. Since this was my first time ever working with this or you know, creating anything like this though, I scooped out a lot because I would rather be prepared than underprepared and I hate stopping in the middle of doing something to have to you know, remix or re-pour or re-anything. So let's just scoop out and see what happens. To dye the icing the color I wanted, I'm just using a generous amount of paint. I believe I got this from Ross, but I'm not completely sure. I'm also adding in a pretty generous amount of Walmart glitter. Um, my hopes were that if I mixed it directly in with the spackle that it would show up on the cake. Um, but as I'm mixing it, I am noticing that it's not really showing up. So I add a ton more and full transparency, that didn't really work either. I'll show you guys at the end what I did to get the glitter effect that I was looking for. Um, but this did not work for me. Maybe if I would have added a ton more, I'm not sure. So, you know, if you guys have done anything like this, please let me know in the comments because I would like to know. <laughs> So I am very happy with the color and the texture of my fake icing, so I am just going to start icing this box like I would any other cake. It's very smooth, it's very easy, I was so surprised and impressed by how easy this was to do guys, like anyone can do this, anyone. So um, I will note that you'll see as I'm starting off I'm kind of going with this side to side motion and that became problematic near the you know the top of the heart where the arches are um you'll see me then move to an up and down motion and that's primarily what i'm going to end up doing for the rest of the cake it's great for the smoothing process so yeah
And that's what the body of the cake looks like for the moment. Um, after I ice the top, I will go along and do some additional smoothing, but I didn't want to smooth too much because, you know, the top is going to cause some problems. So I just wanted to get it nice and then get the top done and then we'll go all the way over the cake. Unfortunately, I did lose the footage of me completing this cake. So don't worry, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did it, but I am going to have to get a little creative with it and um, you'll see that coming up. I got everything except the piping because the footage was corrupted. So, ah! But again, I am going to show you guys exactly how I got this cake piped and looking great. And now I'm just kind of showing you guys what it looks like whenever I take my putty knife and I lightly go along the cake to smooth it. Um, I'm doing this because you guys didn't have some of the best angles whenever I was doing the sides, but that's all there is to it. And this is what I meant whenever I said that I had to cre get creative to show you guys my piping job. So I have these foam hearts from Dollar Tree and it actually turns out that my laziness has paid off for once because it is the next day I was editing whenever I realized that the footage corrupted and I had not cleaned my piping bags yet. So this is the exact same icing that I used to pipe the actual cake and the color of the foam heart is pretty close to the cake itself. So as you can see, there is a contrast in the icing color. I did mix the icing for the piping a lot darker because I wanted to give a nice differential in color. Now I'm seeing through now because it's not the best angle, but now I'm going to slow down and show you guys what I did. Okay guys, so all you do is scoop your spackle into your uh, piping bag. I am using the star tip and you just give a gentle even squeeze and then as you are, you know, pulling up, just release and you'll get that nice little peak. I have never used a piping bag. I have never piped a cake and I am using at least 16 hour old spackle. So it's not even the smoothest consistency, but it is still coming out really nice guys. So whenever I say that anyone can do this, I truly mean anyone can do this and it's going to look nice. So I am just going to finish out this side of the heart and let you guys see it. And then I'm going to show you the finished product. As we're coming up to the end here, I realized that this looks like a cookie cake and that gave me inspiration to help decorate my fake bake cupcake stand. And that video will be out soon. I just let this dry overnight and then I put it to work. It ended up tying in perfectly, but the star of today's show is this heart cake. I am so proud of how this turned out, guys. I cannot believe that this is not real food. And I also can't believe that I made something this pretty when I have never done anything like this with real material. As you can see, I piped a row along the top and the bottom, and I used this very thin, pretty Walmart uh, Valentine's Day ribbon. I just kind of pushed that into the, into the spackle while it was still wet. And then to get that, you know, super glittery, sparkly look, all I did was just pour the glitter directly onto the spackle while it was still wet. It didn't pour super evenly, but I am still in love with it. I added these two Dollar Tree flowers and that one little table scatter, and there you have it. If you like this as much as I loved making it for you, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, show your girl some love, and I will see you guys on the next one.